Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome to Pleasure Learning with Language and Linguistics. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about basic definitions in phonetics and phonology. This lecture is fresh one and it may cover syllabus outline prescribed by HEC. So in this lecture, you may have pleasure learning as well as comprehensive understanding of your syllabus to prepare your exams. Let's move to our contents. One is the third lecture and we are going to talk about airstream mechanism, vocal cords, minimal pairs, voicing, syllable and aspiration. These sounds are produced with some moment of air. Majority of sounds used in the language of the world are produced with air that is pushed up from the lungs to the windpipe or trachea and leave the body through the mouth at some time through the nose. This moment of the air is called an aggressive pulmonic air stream. Aggressive means outward and pulmonic means of the lungs. So the air comes out from the lungs is termed as air stream that is used to produce human vocal sounds. All English sounds are produced by an aggressive pulmonic air stream mechanism. So the air stream mechanism is not a distinct or unique feature in English language. Vocal folds or vocal cords are located in the voice box that is called larynx. Vocal folds are just like strings for breathing. They are just kept apart and allow the air stream to flow freely from the glottis. Glottis is the space between the folds. In contrast, for speaking, these vocal folds play an important role because they produced voiced and unvoiced are voiceless sound. When the vocal folds are vibrated, sounds are produced. Phoneme pairs are a pair of words distinguished by only one phoneme occurring in the same place in the string. For example, at and it. In the minimal case, two segments may differ from each other by the presence or absence of just minimal pairs. For example, seal and zeal. A minimal pair consists of two form with distinct meanings differ by only one segment found in the same position in the word is a minimal pair. In contrast, feel and foot, they are not minimal pair. Minimal pairs differ in the pronunciation of one sound only. For example, ship and sheep. Here, the distinguished sounds are just one phonetic feature. Examples are rack and lack. Here we have raw and law sound, red and lid, grow, glow, gloom and groom. These are the examples of minimal pairs. Concept of voicing is the combination of the state of glottis. Glottis is the space between the vocal fold. Voicing is the combination of voiced and voiceless sounds. All sounds that are produced by an aggressive pulmonic airstream mechanism and pass through the glottis that is the space between the vocal fold and located behind the Adam apple in the voice box or larynx called voiced sound. If the glottis is narrow and the vocal folds are together the air stream forces its way through and causes the vocal folds to vibrate. So this vibration of the vocal fold produces the stream of air with force. In this way, sounds are produced and called voiced sound. You can check whether a sound is voiced or unvoiced by placing a finger on either side of the larynx or by closing your ears with your fingers while you speak. When you say the word zeal, for example, you should be able to sense the vibration of the vocal fold for the entire time that you take to pronounce the word because all three sounds are voiced. So vibration of the vocal fold for producing the sound is called voiced sound. Here you can see examples of voice and voiceless sounds. If the glottis is open and vocal folds are apart, the air passes through without causing the vocal fold to vibrate. The sound produced without the vibration of the vocal fold are called voiceless sound. 
as you can see in the picture in a voice sound the vocal folds are close together and vibrating in contrast in a voiceless sound in the second picture they are pulled apart this position will produce a completely voiceless sound if there is little or no air flow through the glottis so sounds produced without the vibration of the vocal fold are called voiceless sound we have a syllable syllable is the smallest rhythmic unit of spoken language that is larger than a single sound and smaller than a word or you can say a unit of pronunciation that has at least one vowel sound with or without the surrounding consonant as well as forming the whole or part of the word is called a syllable a syllable is a group of one or more sounds with nucleus syllable sounds loud spoken language and formed by nucleus as well as stands as the core of the word or part of the word vowel sound is nucleus in syllable for example park book education and riding the red one are syllable in these words or in the transcription of these words aspiration is the combination of stressed and unstressed syllable when the air comes out from the mouth with great pressure aspirated sounds are produced of air is called aspiration plosives those are followed by it are said to be aspirated aspirated syllables are stressed syllables and unstressed syllables are unaspirated aspiration is shown in the transcription with the word h at the top of the sound for example we have the word pill here pa sound is aspirated in contrast spill is unaspirated or you can say unstressed next we have kill here ka sound is aspirated and pronounced with stressed in contrast skill is unstressed and unaspirated next we have prayer or pray here pa sound is aspirated next one is tree and ta sound is aspirated and the stressed one summarize the important points of this lecture production of speech sounds from the lungs through the windpipe and their exit from the body via mouth or nose is called air stream mechanism this movement of air is called an aggressive pulmonic air stream or you can say flow of the air out from the lungs vocal fold or vocal cords are located in the larynx they are like strings in breathing they are kept apart and allow the air to pass through freely the glottis they vibrate during speaking to produce voiced sounds minimal pairs are similar sounding words that differ in only one phonological element but different in meanings Voicing is the combination of voiced and unvoiced or voiceless sound and the position of the glottis sounds produced through the glottis vibrating the vocal folds are called voiced sound in contrast if the glottis is open vocal folds are apart they do not vibrate so so sounds produced without the vibration of the vocal folds are called unvoiced sound syllable are the rhythmic unit of spoken language they are larger than a single sound or phoneme and smaller than a word all syllable have at least one vowel sound the nucleus in the syllable is a vowel sound I hope this lecture will be fruitful for you and you will have pleasure learning with language and linguistics you can also visit this link to improve your comprehension and understanding about this lecture because you will have not only written transcript but also few questions related to this lecture